Hello everyone, Oliver from Scholarcy here. Are you looking for an easier way to visualise the connections between the flashcards in your collection? Or well, creating a knowledge graph in Obsidian might be the way. Let's take a look how. So I already have this collection of flashcards, but how do I go from this collection in Scholarcy over to a knowledge graph in Obsidian? I'll start by exporting, and what we can do is click on to select. Now I'm going to click select all to have all of them selected. I'll go on to export, and I'm going to change the drop down over to markdown. From here, simply click on download, and then it will generate the markdown file. The bulk export's now finished, so we have a markdown file for each flashcard in a zip folder. We can't natively import the zip folder into Obsidian, but what we can do is double click. Just like that, it's now been unzipped. This folder can go into Obsidian, so let's head over there and import it. Let's load up Obsidian, let's click onto File, and then click on Open Vault. You can think of a vault just like a folder on your computer, Obsidian just renamed them. We could import our new folder into the existing vault that I have here. However, what I'm going to do today is click on to Create. I'm going to name the vault BZ Droplets, and I'm going to decide where I want to store it. Click on to create, and just like that, we've got a new vault available. So now that we've created our vault, we want to import all of our markdown files into it so we can view our knowledge graph. A really easy way to do this is to head back onto file, click on open vault. From here, click on the three dots next to the vault that you want to inspect. Reveal vault in Finder. From here, click into the folder, go back to where you've got your markdown file saved, click and drag the folder across. Now you can see in the background, all of those markdown files have opened up. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. If you hover over, you'll see where they're then connected to. So you can hover over any of the connections and see how all of these articles are connected. It's a really nice way to visualize the citation graphs, really useful way if you're a visual learner. Since the Markdown files were an export from Scholarcy, they still contain all of the normal flashcard information that you'd expect to find within Scholarcy Library. If I click into one of the files I've got here, you can see that it opens up and it looks very similar to the original flashcards that we had in Scholarcy. All of the key concepts as well are connected within the knowledge graphs. So if I click onto the BZ droplet link here, it opens up a giant list of all of the articles that also contain BZ droplet. So I can go from this paper over into another paper that also mentions BZ droplets. So you can see it's opened up now. We've got towards functional droplet architectures, BZ medium for networks. I can read this article. If I want to compare it, I can click onto the three dots and I can open up split right. So we've now got two articles side by side. These ones are the same currently, but I can click onto the original article that I was looking at if I'd like to. So you can go ahead and you can read the abstracts side by side. If you want to scroll down, you can read the key points. There will also be all of the figures available for you. It's a really nice way to immerse yourself into all of the output, all of the high level understanding, as well as all of the fine details that you get from your flashcards, except it's in Obsidian this time. So now you know how to use Scholarcy and Obsidian together to create a knowledge graph of all of your flashcards. Hopefully you can use this to make some really advanced notes and study much more effectively. If you like what you saw here, please stick around for more. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching.